Good morning and welcome back to Parks with and Parks Money. Today I'm working on making some bread. It's been a while since I made bread. We've just been working with soups and things like that. Not going to do soup for, well I don't, this won't actually even be done in time for lunch. So I guess this will be tomorrow's, tomorrow's lunch? Maybe we'll have it with dinner. Going to make a big batch of it. This is generally the recipe I'm going to be using. It's an oatmeal bread, um, an oatmeal wheat bread. And we're going to see how, if I remember right, I really liked it. But this I did years and years and years ago and I haven't made it for a while. So I'm going to see how I like it. If I don't like it, the recipe's going. And if I really like it, I'm going to keep the recipe. Art kindly helped get my flour, molasses, and yeast out to help me. And we're going to get making this. Look at how much that yeast bubbled up. That looks fabulous. Really, really fabulous. See that, Mary? Isn't that neat? Mm -hmm. Look at Grace. See how that just rose Did right off? Did the molasses do it? Yeah, the molasses, the sugar helped feed it. That's really neat. Grace and Mary have been working on a domino train and it looks like the bear is going to take a, um, take a hop in the dunk tank. <laughs> Oh, phew! Don't let him fall Keep in. On the bottom. Oh, so he won't. He won't. He'll float. Sink. Oh, that'll be fun. You have to let me know when you guys are done with it, okay? Uh, yeah. Art just came upstairs and he said, can we add some Milanese to that? So I added two thirds of a cup. Because this already has four cups of oats, I don't want to make it like super, super greeny. But on the other hand, this was a good, Art had a good idea using the Milanese. Yeah, so. it's not like we're running out. We got that and, and then we have a ton, ton downstairs. downstairs. So this will be good. It looks really good. Kids are playing. They're probably gonna come up soon. Daniel's right there. Guys, we made a domino train. You wanna go see it? This is our train we made. Okay, don't knock it over it's yet. Big. Take a, I'm gonna get a video of it. Okay. And now the Duncan Bear is right there. Okay, will, the question is will this work? Yeah, will it work? Okay, 
Um, hang on. Grace Don't gets to do yet. the on hers. Okay, we are ready when you are, Grace. Two, three, two, two one, go! Oops, burn out. The kids are having yeah, fun outside. Kids are needing. I gotta figure out the beef jerky next. Lydia is needing the dough. That looks pretty good. I think we're gonna just let this rise now. Good job. Thank you very much for your help. That looks really good. Uh, mommy, a little flour. It's okay. A little flour is not gonna hurt it. And that oatmeal. Are we gonna put it in a bowl? We are. Okay. Yeah. If it sticks, I'll just scrape it out. It's not a big deal. Okay, we'll cover it, let it rise for an hour. This is doing great. another track. She's Trevor, the tractor done. engine, was hard at work. Chug, yeah, chug. Just has a couple more day. pieces over there. And this is the little Hello, guy Trevor, said James. You look busy as a bee. I nice. am, said Trevor. Just popped off. The next day, James chugged into the station. He saw boxes and bundles and bags. Hey, and there was a beehive. Where's the beehive, Daniel? Um, right yep, there. There's a beehive. People rush this way and that. Oh, oh. No. 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 Grace has the bear. No, no I have this fellow. So the bread is in. No, the bread is not in the oven. It is rising. And it should be ready in about a half hour. Lydia did a really awesome job. Very thankful for her help. In the meantime, I got something new to show all you guys. This is not a sponsored video by this company. They sent me this to share with all of you guys so you can see it in real life working. So I have no idea what to expect, um, but this is what I got. Hey. It is a dehydrator. Now we always use, um, I'm trying to think the name of ours. It's not Golden Harvest. I can go check. It's the Garden big Harvest. One. So Art just went downstairs and looked at our dehydrator. It's an American Harvest and the model is Garden Master. We've had great success with that. It's, um, the price point was better than the Excalibur. I know you guys, most everybody, like the gold standard is the Excalibur of dehydrators. That's beyond my price point. But Peter, this one is supposed to be. It's supposed to be. This one's supposed to be adjustable temperature and all that, which I prefer my dehydrators to be able to custom the temperature on them. So anyways, we will give this a shot. I have beef jerky. We just got our cow a couple weeks ago, and I've been wanting to make beef jerky for the baby. And the baby? Well, the baby's not eating beef jerky. It's getting it through me. I want something to have that's high protein, low carb. And that's really good at the end of pregnancy. So this is a good, this was time, the timing was perfect. I can open this. I like the square shape, easier to stack. That was my other big, my big bugaboo about the round one. It's a good name. It's round, it leaves empty spaces. So we're gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna start making the beef jerky. We have to marinate that for a good day, two days for that to get the flavor. But then we're gonna try this out and see how it works. It's kind of exciting, it's like Christmas for me. Mama gets a new one. So I put everything together here to make beef jerky. This is going to have to marinate for at least 24 hours. 48 hours is even better. I have two steaks here. Both are sirloins. That's what Art could find in the freezer. So again, this is a good item to use up some of that freezer food. But I will put the recipe for the beef jerky marinade down in the description so you guys can um, snag that if you want. This is right around four pounds of beef. I don't, I didn't open these to see if this has a bone in it. So you may need to adjust. I mean, as long as there's enough marinade to coat the beef, you should be good. So if you wanna add more meat to it, you certainly can. It is easier to slice when it's still partially frozen. 
I I don't know. These might be still too frozen. I you'll know it when you when you try to cut into it and you can't get through it. Lydia is working on the onion for me. Uh oh, oh no, crying, spicy eyes, spicy eyes. We're gonna do one onion and then we had a little bit left over in the refrigerator. We're just gonna use that up. And then I'm just using this Tupperware container. Have had this for years. Um, and this meat should pretty well, you know, fill up the whole thing. And we'll just turn it every, um, maybe twice or three times a day to make sure the marinade gets all over the beef. But this is such a fabulous recipe. She's down for the count. Would you like me to take over for you? <laughs> Spacey eyes. <laughs> the face is turning red all over, girly. You want me to go for you? Okay. <laughs> So this is everything for the marinade, and I just need to chop up, um, not chop up, slice the beef thinly, and then get it in here to marinate. But I did taste it, and it's delicious. It tastes like buffalo wings. It's maybe it's because it's the particular type of hot sauce that I'm using this time, but it tastes like buffalo wings. I don't know why. It just, it's really good. So I sliced the beef and I, I'm really bad with thicknesses, but you can see it's sliced really, really thin. And this will get, um, like this is a nice piece here. What is that? A quarter inch thick maybe? I don't know. I didn't measure. Um, sirloin by far is always my favorite. I think it's the most tender when you're making it. But again, use what you have on hand. Um, trim it. So there were some really big fat pieces on here. I ended up trimming off. I probably should have trimmed that one here. Um, this will be extra, extra chewy uh, when this dehydrates. But other than that, you can see it's pretty, it's a pretty lean cut. And we're just, I mixed it up and we're just gonna let it set in the refrigerator for at least 24 hours. I might do it longer. We'll see how I'm doing on time. And then dehydrate it and I'll show you the end process. I don't know if it'll be in this video or if it'll be in a, a video uh, later on after this. It is, making your own beef jerky is certainly labor intensive. Um, always use your beef partly frozen. It makes it easier to get thin slices. I have learned that the hard way. Um, and no need to buy packages of seasoning. This is really easy to put together. It tastes fabulous. There was a bone in one of the sirloin steaks, so I'm gonna take that and actually boil that and turn that into some broth. And I'll use that for my next soup. So again, zero waste here. We'll just use it for another purpose. I just realized I totally forgot my bread. 
it has risen. <laughs> so I gotta put the meat away and then I'm going to shape the bread and get this going. I look like I have two lungs on my counter. <laughs> I assure you it's bread. Okay, this is gonna rise for about an hour. I doubled the recipe here and you can see it filled these two loaf pans right up. And this is very dense bread. So this should go a lot farther than my traditional white bread. So I took the bone that came out of that sirloin steak, browned it, yes, that is the fat. I'm gonna actually, there's no really no meat on this, but I want the broth. So I went ahead and browned it with just some salt and pepper, a little bit of oil and then deglaze the pan with just a little bit of some cooking wine, added water, bay leaf, uh, thyme, a little bit of rosemary, and then a little piece of onion. I'm gonna let this simmer all afternoon, and then I'm going to turn this into a really brothy soup. My dad has the flu, so I want to take that up to him and see if he will eat something really super nourishing. And I figured that's a good way to use up that bone too. So the soup made two jars. I added some noodles to it because my dad loves noodles. And then just peas, carrots, onions, celery, and some broth. And then I'm giving them some of my homemade bread that I made today. And they can have that either with their soup or have that for lunch. I don't know what they feel like. And then Charity. So it is very late. I didn't get around to ending this video because after I filmed the soup and the bread, I had awful round ligament pain. I don't know if any of you guys have ever suffered with that. It has gotten much worse with each pregnancy and I never know when it's gonna strike. And I could feel the tinges of it when I was working on the getting the soup out for my dad. And then that was just, the end. So I'm feeling better now. <laughs> it's just like a muscle spasm or a, a leg cramp, except it's in your stomach area and there's nothing I can do about it until just letting it ride its course. So I'm better, no worries, <laughs> but I didn't film anything else tonight. We'll be working on that marinade either tomorrow or Friday. We'll see how things are going, but I'm going to end tonight's video. Thank you so much for coming along. I hope you enjoyed it. I love hearing your stories of how you've been inspired by my cooking and some of the things that you're cooking. So please keep the comments coming. I love hearing from all of you guys. And as always, recipes can, most recipes can be found at uh, parsnipsandparsimony.com or all the good details for everything that I'm doing up to minute over on Instagram. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you for our next video. Good night.